Hi guys. <laughs> okay, hi. Your favorite YouTuber. Everybody thinks that. Anyway, <laughs> hi, my name is Ijoma. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, okay, so today you're going to be seeing how I shoot my portrait. How exciting is that? Um, you're going to be seeing behind the scene. We just want to do like a test shoot today, so come along with me. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to be showing you how I do majority of my setup especially for portraits right so come along with me this is one light i usually put my 8200 with my parabolic for a few lights this is my main light for my main lights i use my sml uv dish and i use my 8600 dm then for my backlight i usually use I, depending on the number of lights you have, but personally, I either use my flash, like normal flash, or I use my 8200 and I mount it up on a bando just so that uh, the direction of the light. I also have a gel placed here, right? Depending on what kind of feel I want, I have the particular gel. So this light here is more of a focus light. It also adds some vignette, something like, like the feel here. So this is majorly my go-to light for portrait, for headshots, for close-up kind of pictures. Um, if you have one light, two light, depending on what you want to achieve. I started off using just one main light. I started off then having a second light before I went on to get the backlight. I also have a reflector here. So the reflector is majorly for <laughs> reflecting light. <laughs> yeah, so it's always by the side here. Um, okay, so let's shoot hi guys i'm david richard i'm a creative designer a content creator and a tech lover i'm also the in-house designer for ebay works and i mean today is going to be a great day because i'll be modeling for a test shoot so let's let's get it done okay hi guys so welcome back um we're about to shoot and yeah I'm just going to show you some of the things I'm going to be using. First starters, I'm going to show you my camera. So I'm shooting with the R6 mirrorless Canon, yeah. And I'm going to be trying out for the first time. I'm going to be trying out the RF 51.2 USML. Um, yeah. So let's go to our setup. David, our model. <laughs> so we're still going to be using three lights, and you're going to be trying this out with me. I'm going to be using just like I said main light, back light, that is going to serve as my continuous light and also my um, rim light and this for fill. So let's get to it. Okay, so um, I'm starting off the 1.2 like I said, this is just the only lens I'm going to be shooting today and when I got this lens, I thought to myself, oh why would I use a 1.2 in the studio? Especially because one of the major features of this is the bouquet effect that you give, right? But let's try it out. Okay, so I'm noticing that um, I'm using this lens for the first time, and I'm noticing that um, at some point you can't focus. So um, I'm thinking you have to um, go about 30 millimeter before you can actually focus. I'm currently shooting on one point too because why not? You can also try this in the studio. very 
great thing I really love about this lens as I'm using it is first of all the focus. It is amazing. The focus on one point is blown. I'm blown away with the focus. I'm using a 1.2 right now to shoot David's portrait and it is phenomenal. I am so impressed by how the focus point is. Oh, I love this, but I don't want your head to look up. I don't want your head to look too much. So yeah, up, up, okay. But look, lay your eye, your head up, head up, or your eye here, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 